Talio and Cheerio, my good sir. Talio and Cheerio to you. Chip, chip. Chip, chip, chimeries and chimeroos. But what is that? Well, I'm going to be talking in a British accent. You're going to be the, a cockney uh, all night? I'm going to be talking in a British accent in honor of my good friends there in Britain who have chosen to abandon the New World Order and join up with independence. It is Independence Day on the verge of the new movie, Independence Day. Uh, I'm already losing my accent. Uh, they have declared independence from the New World Order and they have successfully left the European Union. It is a very exciting day for all of us across the pond. Chip, chip, cheerio, and chim, chimery. Yeah, so uh, I saw that. England, uh, 60%. So now they're breaking out of the EU. Um, the pound fell 11% uh, against the US dollar in the last, I don't know, like hour or whatever it's been. Have you seen, I'm going to quit talking English because it's I really suck at it, but have you seen, like, no shit, dude. I was watching, because, by the way, CNN sucks a dick because they will fucking have a countdown clock for a libertarian town hall. But when something's happening, the, huge in the world. Kim Kardashian has a hangnail tonight on CNN. Yeah, and then and I'm telling you, CNN was barely covering this thing tonight. They talked a lot about Donald Trump going to Scotland, but very little about this huge election taking place in Britain. So I decided, well, the Internet's a wonderful thing. I watched Sky News from Britain um, uh, streaming on my phone, watching the results come in. And I fucking love British people because it didn't matter whether they were winning or losing. They were incredibly polite. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning there, or 5 a.m. They've been up all night drinking, watching the results come in. And there was one guy who was on the side of, of leave who was so excited. And he kept yelling, dare to dream, dare to dream. That's all he was yelling. And then he was laughing. And then he said he was going to get fucked up. This is an like, interviewer or a, a host or whatever of the show. This like is a, the guy that reporter? lost. So, okay. So, like, say uh, tw 2012. Obama beat Romney, right? This is Tony well, Blair. This was, this was the Romney of the most recent election in the UK. The guy that lost to David Cameron because Tony Blair's, Blair's not there anymore. But the new guy, the new Obama right. in the UK is David Cameron. The guy <laughs> the that prime was at minister? the pub. Yes. Yeah. He's the prime minister. The guy that was at the pub all fucked up was the Mitt Romney who lost to him. But he was like saying like how fucked up he was going to get because he was so excited. He was going to be drinking. And then they're like, well, what are you going to say tomorrow at noon? And he was like, get back with me in three days. Cause <laughs> I think I'm going to be hung over for quite a while. Um, but they were incredible. It didn't matter if they won or lost. They were so polite. Cause it, even the losers, like in the United States, you lose. You burn Party shit. wants to go like Flip cars and burn it. Fucking yeah. <laughs> That's what happens now. You can each other, other and burn cars. The, these British losers, the guy, the guys that lost. They were going, uh, uh, well, it was the will of the people. What are you going to do? You know, it's, uh, I'm just glad that the people had their say today. And I was like, holy fucking shit. These people are nice as, as all get out. You know, I love these fucking British people. To be honest, I did not know that the E or England was part of the EU. How'd they get not away? Only the, not they, only are they part of it, dude, they, they are the it? headquarters. They're the headquarters of the European well, Union. How, how, the, come, how come they never dropped the pound? Why didn't they go to the the EU dollar or whatever it is? Well, they were trying to retain their the euro. They were trying to retain their yeah. Britain because Britain has always been very proud of their shit, right? Yes. Um, so they were like 40 years ago. They said, we'll join the EU. But, but they, the EU like, hasn't been in, around that long. I remember when the EU started. Well, I'm pretty sure like, 40 years ago is when the... It, like it, 1996. The, on Sky News tonight, they were saying 40 years all fucking night long on for, on the Sky News. Uh, and I thought the same thing. I remember the 90s when the euro came out. Maybe well, that's I'm what I remember. Is, is the euro no. was what I was confusing with. November the 1st, Union. 1993. So I, I, I wasn't fuck. wrong. Maybe I don't know what the fuck they were saying. They were saying on Sky News that 40 years ago, they decided they should join this. Thing. Maybe it was lost in translation. There's It's English, dude. <laughs> Uh, maybe they're saying 14 years ago. No, that wouldn't work either. So I don't know what the fuck they were saying. The point is, is that Britain was in on it and they were the, one of the biggest, most influential parts of it. And the headquarters yep. 
is for in the EU is in fucking. Uh, the are UK. we talking about the same EU, the European Union? Because the headquarters yeah. is in Belgium. Lar- well, I don't. The dude, largest city you. is London. And London was not one of the founders. France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Italy, Netherlands, and Germany. Where are you getting your facts from? Sky News. I'm watching fucking Sky News, and I don't trust your Googling right now. Because I just, I watched British TV and anything they said. Because I'm like a fucking, uh, I sponge a lot. I don't necessarily learn it, right? I sponge it. Yeah. I soak it in and just fucking repeat it. Squeeze so what it I'm out. telling you is literally what I fucking just heard. I'm parodying what I heard on Sky News I'm just News saying. Tonight. I just Googled. When did who the EU gives begin? A, who gives a fuck? Okay, they were the biggest part of it. They were yes, they were big. Yes, the most. They are like one of the most influential parts of Europe, and they just said, "Fuck you, we're out." And now the next big player in Europe, who now has to like kind of take the lead, is Germany. Um, and uh, fucking Britain is having a party today. They're just now, like, why, "Fuck it." Why did they choose to leave? Like, what's their reasoning? All the same, it's all the same shit. Like, okay, so here's the choice right now in the world. You can either, you either believe in globalism, which is like the, the world's getting to be a much smaller place and we're interconnected and we've got to deal with that. And we're eventually all going to be one country anyway. So let's move forward with that. That's globalism. So you're either a globalist and you support the new world order and you're in with the big banks and the Rothschilds and the fucking Bilderberg movement, or... Well, I You're think a nationalist. <laughs> You're a nationalist. And a nationalist believes that it's very important to retain your country and cultural identity. So what Britain did is because Br- where do you think um, the fucking people in America got some of their bad at why, why, why are you know, we're not fucking we got some of our badass shit from Britain. Well, we That's got all we of came it. from. We were the people that were fed up with the people shit. We were, were English people that got tired of being English. Or, well, not tired yeah. of being English. We got tired of being around other English people. Yeah, so I'm thinking some Most of that, of us. So, some of that cowboy point, mentality. I'm thinking some of that fucking nationalist cowboy mentality is still fucking, that comes from our ancestors in Britain. And they were just like fucking sick and tired of being globalist. They said, we don't want to fucking be a one world fucking new world order place. We want to be independent nation. And so they, they, they just said, fuck off. And it's like, I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I feel like it really is independence day because I am not a globalist and I don't support the new world order. Uh, I support independent countries because I think that's what we should have a bunch of, it's cool that we all get along. I want to have peace, but I also don't want everybody to be the same country. I don't, well, support I don't know globalism. if that's, I don't know if that's going to happen. That's the goal of the New World Order. The Council on Foreign Relations, okay, George H.W. Bush, Bilderbergs. Uh, you put the tinfoil out on me all you want. This was set in motion when they there first established the, uh, what is it, the IMF? When they first established the IMF, that was the move towards one nation government. That, that was the thing this- before the United Nations you're talking about. Uh, no, I think the IMF oh. was later than that. But what do I know? I'm wrong on the EU. The inter- <laughs> the IMF stands for International Monetary Fund. And oh. it's like all the banks together. And they set like the world's like, you know, like the international stock market regulations and all that kind of stuff. Right on. Um, But you, are you going to find out when they started? No, no I, I'm, I'm listening. Oh, okay. So that's what they <laughs> do. And so the IMF was the first move towards true one world government. And H.W. Bush used to always say that he, George H.W. was a firm believer in the new world order. He wanted to establish the new world order. And that is the thing that the okay, Bilderberg I, well, style movement wants. They want a new world well, what, order. Okay. One world government. Like I conscribe to, yes, the world is changing internet. We're interconnected transactions and trade and everything is getting faster. I, I get that. I don't think we'll become one giant nation under a That's single what, flag. I, I just don't, something I just, like I just don't think so it'll happen they, though. But you can say that. But they took every pretty much every country, but Russia and Europe, which is a large swath of diverse countries, and they all wrapped them under one. And then the next step was like, let's have a uniform well, currency. And so well, then it no, doesn't no, take much to well, no, go. It like, does okay, though. It's, ne- it's a big difference because all of Europe is about the size of the United States. You can say the same thing where we took a bunch of independent 
you no, know, but that's, people you and wrap them up into a somewhere, thing. You got to start somewhere, man. You got to start somewhere. So then you get the U.S. involved with the EU, and all of a sudden the U.S. is going to go, hey, guys, we, we should, you know, we should get involved in this. Next thing you know, the U.S. is involved. Then we get Mexico involved. We get NATO. We get uh, the, so the whatever it's called. You're talking the, more behind the scenes. We don't WTO. all become like the country of Steve. But behind that the scenes, the, the banking game. is all one That's, thing. No, the the end game, the end game is to be is the, one world government. Yes. So that the country of Steve. All the, it's essentially the, the country of banks. It's all banks. Well, that's there, behind it, the this, scenes. This all goes to banks. Are we all going to be flying under the flag of a purple moon? That's what they want. Because it's way easier for the banks to control the economy and control the money. It's all about banks and money. That's what it's all about. And uh, so this was a move towards, this is like fighting what might be a losing war, but it was like Britain had given in to globalism. And then they went, you know what? We don't like this. We're going to go against globalism. And that's kind of what's happening in the United States where we're going like, hey, let's like go against globalism. Let's not be involved in every foreign entanglement. I don't think let's not the U.S. Do is against building. globalism. Uh, Don, if you listen to... Like, what are you talking about? Uh, the people? The average Joe? The crazy no, nuts? Or the, the government's policies? The government's policies is, is, is all dedicated towards the New World Order. And, and, and that's why everybody's freaking out about, like, uh, Trump, man. Because he's against globalism. But why do you see today, this week, two uh, high-ranking uh, advisors and defense administration officials from the W. Bush and H. W. Bush families endorsed Republicans, lifelong Republicans endorsed Hillary because they said she would be better for the world. Well, why do they say that? That's because she supports, she's a globalist. She supports one world that government. Or they think like you and I do, and Trump's going to burn the world. No, but the, the, the main thing is, is that it's everyone's in on it together. Why do well, we yeah. have the pendulum swing like a didgeridoo where it goes this way a little bit and then that way a little bit? And why do they keep us divided through the national media thinking that we're, they always find a way to say your facts versus my facts well, yeah, and this that, guy versus that's that That's all guy. the news is. The news is to keep the people busy arguing exactly. over bullshit. While they establish the one uh, world I just government. Don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, I guess, okay. I mean, there are people making, I don't think it's an organization though, the way the new world order is like described. I don't think that there is a like secret meeting Kind of thing. It's not there, even secret there's anymore. Pe there's it's, people it, they, talking. The Council of Foreign Relations says they're doing this. The Bilderberg Group admits that's their purpose, and they now put out a list of everyone who goes to the meeting. We know when the meeting is. When I mean, what? we know this. The World Trade Organization. We we know these meetings happen. Bohemian Grove. <laughs> well, you can, these you, things happen. You know they happen. I don't know. I haven't sat around and researched this. What up until maybe this point was cockamamie bullshit. Well, you can say it's cockamamie bullshit, but it's it's real. I mean, the Bilderberg meeting just happened like a month ago, and they put a list. Here's all the people that Where are Where do going. they put the list? Here's when it is. Just online? On the website. Yeah. Is it Bilderberg their website, website, or is some asshole yes. just running the website? How no, do we go to the Bilderberg website? Google Bilderberg. Bilderberg. Google. I can't believe you don't. See, this is the thing. Everybody goes, oh, that's not true. That sounds like something Alex Jones would say. Yeah, well, yeah, he's uh, a crazy person. But he's not. I mean, it's the thing. Like, Maybe, he's he the prophet. Is, he's the guy is, in the movie. He drops his true. paper that no one listens to. And then all of a sudden, you know, the bad guys show up. That's that's what I'm saying. Alex uh, Bilderberg Jones, group dot net. I, boom. It's not the most it's popular probably. thing. And they run it like it's 1993. Well, they're too busy taking no, over the world. I, I don't know. The structure of this website leads me to believe this is not correct. But they advertise shit. Do they have the list? Look up Bilderberg 2016 attendees. And that'll, wherever that list is, the top, the top uh, thing that pops up. Well, there's no, oh, there is a Google, there is a search. Uh, so I'm just going to put 2016, uh, 2016 sounds good. Yeah. And there should be something like one of the top searches should show you who attended and that'll be the website that it's posted on. And if it's the Bilderberg website, great. And if it's not, then we'll at least know where it came from. What? 
I got a bunch of rainforest studies. Well, I don't know what you're Googling. Well, no, I'm not Googling. Bilderberggroup.net has a search feature. I typed 2016 into that. It brought up a bunch of rainforest No, I just like, go back to Googling it. Because who knows what's on this Bilderberg site? Oh, I thought I was looking at the Bilderberg site. Uh, no, I was saying Google like Bilderberg 2016, 2016 elect, attendees. Election yeah, or, or something. Uh, uh, Not election. They don't well, do elections. That's what it says. Attendees. Sure. Now, what's the top search? Hold on. I got, I got to let Google correct myself here. Bilderberg chooses Hillary 2016 from global research. California. That doesn't sound like a good site. Uh, that sounds like some crazy that's, shit. That's the number one uh, participants. Bilderberg meetings from Bilderbergmeetings.org. Well, they that's, put the list out. I don't know where it comes from, but they do put the list yeah, out. And it's somebody known. puts a list out. It's real, though. The Bilderberg meeting is real. It's not made up. They meet. It's real. Well, I mean, you yes. don't think Bilderberg is real. You think like it was just your no, fucking no, no, no. I think I, no, I no, I, I I do believe it exists. I just don't know what their agenda is and what they're like, what kind of power they hold. It's all the same agenda. World domination is is that in their like the banks? <laughs> Bilderberg world domination coming for soon for the banks. For the banks. 